Welcome back to White Mountains Today. I am joined in studio with Karen and Ashley. Thank you so much for joining us. And also your bunny for today is named Butterscotch. Butterscotch, yeah. Butterscotch the bunny. So tell us a little bit about, so you're at the Freiburg Fair referred to as the bunny lady. <laughs> uh, at least on my notes I have you written down yes. as the bunny lady. So can you talk a little bit about how you found yourself named the bunny lady? Well, I started Angora's in um, 1987. And um, I was one in my local area, in that area. I was the only one raising Angora bunnies at the time. So people started calling me the bunny lady. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So it was a while ago that that started. It's a cool thing to be known for. <laughs> <laughs> it's a unique nickname. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of things going on at the Freiburg Fair. And the Freiburg Fair starts tomorrow. Yep. So I'm sure you both are pretty busy today trying to get things ready and start off. So. We really appreciate you coming in and chatting with us, but sure. what's going on? What are you most looking forward to at the fair? What's going on at the fair? There's a lot of things going on at the fair. <laughs> I've never been to the fair, so I've got a lot of questions. I'm trying to like figure out this whole mystical thing. But. Right. All right. Um, I head up the Fiber Center. Mm -hmm. So at the Fiber Center, we have like 30 demonstrators who come in, and our mission there is to educate the public on um, processing fiber, Mm -hmm. um, and, and all, the, all the different things we can do with fiber. Pretty much from the start of when you shear a sheep or a rabbit all the way to the finished See, product. I wasn't even sure if you could shear a rabbit. I'm glad you said that because that was my <laughs> next question. I was like, wait a minute. Well, these okay. ones shed. These, so these ones shed. shed. Oh, so that's so easier every, to shear them. They just every three off. months a whole coat sheds efficient. right off. Right. And the new coat's growing in as the old coat's coming off. Awesome. Some angoras do have to be sheared. Okay. So well, what different breeds. What can you make with? Like what? What is like a common thing to be made with that? Hats, mittens, sweaters. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He looks pretty warm, so I'm sure that's an <laughs> awesome. <laughs> They're seven times warmer than wool. Really? Fur. Whoa. Okay. Mm, that's yep. pretty crazy. I'm gonna put down my notes to look. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> to the fiber cold center. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. So that's going on. Is that going on tomorrow on Sunday? It's going on every day of every the day. fair. Awesome. Yep. So we have different demonstrators coming in, spinning. First, processing the fibers, um, needle felting, um, dyeing, dyeing your wool with different kinds, even Kool-Aid. Right. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea that works. Yeah. I'll write that down too. So yeah. those are all, and they're all demonstrations. So um, you, people can come there and learn how to do it by just watching. Right. That's really cool. So there's the demonstration. There's a lot of different things going on at the fair as well. So. Every day of the fair, are you doing kind of the same thing every day, or does your schedule change every day? We have some changes every day. Awesome. Yeah, like the and sheep shearing is just on the last last Sunday. day at noon. We have nice. some people sheep shearing, weather committing, of course. Weather permitting. permitting. Of course. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, I know you have some notes here. You were talking about kind of bringing us through what's going on every day of the fair for you guys, and there's a ton of things going on. We have our little yeah. graphic there. We're going to split it into like three separate pages of just the first day. Yeah. So is there anything? Do you have a favorite part of the fair? It's like a, kind of a loaded question for a veteran uh. like you. But. <laughs> well, of course, I like the fiber part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. But they also have this chicken coop mm -hmm. that is oh, um, on raffle. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, put in your raffle ticket, or you can win that chicken coop or a um, $2,000 cash. It's a right. huge That's it's crazy. A, it's, so it's you a can really walk in big chicken coop. To the chicken coop. Could I stand? Is there a chicken coop that I could like stand up in? Almost yep. stand up. I could stand up in it. Wow. <laughs> Pretty close, anyway. I'm yeah, not sure exactly that's how tall awesome. You are, that sounds <laughs> like close. something I could live I can. in. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, well, yeah. If I have to duck a little bit, that's okay. Yeah. That's not the a chickens huge can walk around anyway, right? right, right? Yeah, I was gonna say multiple chickens. If one Dave can fit in there, multiple chickens should be able to fit yeah. in there. That's so awesome. So they just started that last year, and this is another, new, you know, a new one for this year. So right, awesome. Um, so two thousand dollars cash or the chicken coop. Yeah, for um, your raffle ticket. And then the raffle. How do you enter the raffle ticket? Is just right there. Right there by the um, poultry barn. Poultry barn? Yeah. Awesome. So nice and easy. Enter that chicken coop. That's yeah, awesome. Really that. cool. Nice. All right. So then like um, Sunday, there's the tractor pull. Mm -hmm. At the Fiber Center, we have a flea show. Okay. And then um, every day there is flower, there's flower shows. Right. I saw that. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then, oh, pig scramble. What is the there pig scramble? Yeah, is here's the big <laughs> question. This is what I've been waiting to ask you. What is a pig scramble? Well, um, so they let go probably, I think it's eight piglets, and then they have ten kids. Of, no way. Yeah, about eight to ten years old. Okay. 
um, and they the whole tractor pull I mean the tractor pull the uh, horse pulling and ox pulling ring mm -hmm. is they have it shortened a little bit and then they just let the pigs go and the kids scramble they have a bag and twine and they just run they just let these pigs yep. go <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> they just anyone what who is the age it, cutoff <laughs> um, to, just 10 to, uh, 8 to 10 8 to 10 unfortunately right, so <laughs> I, know. I might be able to pass the 10 year old but it's going to be really close that's awesome so the pig scramble is going on what day is the pig scramble happening um, it's happening three times. I know oh, it's so happening, it's happening. Oh, Sunday. Awesome. Okay, so I've got plenty of time to uh, see it. Yep, and then Wednesday, and then I believe the last. Uh, the last day the as last well. Day. Yeah, okay, so you can finish off that pig scramble yeah. too. That's awesome. That's super exciting. Yeah, I've never been that to a whole lot a of fun fairs, thing to so watch. <laughs> I'm sure. That's awesome. And then you said there's the tractor pull going on and the, the flower show yeah. is happening almost every day. The flower show is every day. Awesome. Tractor pull. Um, is the first day, and then they have a um, four-wheel drive pull on the awesome. last day. And the pull, are they pulling like a, a, a weight, like some kind of, I'm a total fair novice, so, so they, I'm asking they pull some a embarrassing sled, questions. Okay. And then they have these giant concrete bricks, and they're more like oblong, and they, right. they put them on in different sections. So like you start off, well, with the tractor's uh, pull, you probably start off with a couple thousand pounds. Right. And then you get, just keep adding. And mm -hmm. whichever tractor can't pull or can't pull the certain distance that they need to in a certain amount of time. Oh, so it's time. So yes. you have to get it at a certain amount. Yep. Oh, interesting. And are these like custom tractors? Like, or are they pretty normal tractors? I think you can customize them <coughs> to a certain degree. I think there's different categories. I'm not absolutely oh, okay. certain on that yeah. one. Kind of like a drag race thing, but for tractors. Kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. Drag race. <laughs> like, right? oh, yeah. Just, live TV shouldn't be making those kind of puns. But anyway, <laughs> so you have the tractor race going on. Yeah, then um, Monday we've got this Woodsman's Field Day. Yeah, I've yeah, heard of that. That is so popular. Yeah, that's like the chopping wood and like pulling pieces of wood around. What exactly does that yeah. look like? And then they have the, it's more of the old time where they got two people on one of those big giant saws. saws. Oh, yeah. yeah they yeah, do yeah. have a, um, <coughs> a section with chainsaws, but it's mostly axes and right, mostly older, the older equipment. school stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Nice. And it's I'm really sure. fun. It's There's like some really the, talented people coming through. The speed that they do these things is like, come to my house and chop firewood. <laughs> yes, please. I need someone to help stack firewood. And those yeah. are all contests and things, yep. And that's going on on Monday. Monday. Awesome. So then Tuesday, that's Senior Citizens Day. That's the day where you can go for free if you're a senior, senior citizen? citizen. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. So that's a nice day for them. Um, and the tractor, an uh, antique tractor show, tractor pulls. And then every day there's this dessert contest. Okay, it sounds so, good. And yeah. that day is a blueberry. Blueberry dessert <laughs> contest. Okay, yeah, I'll circle that one on my calendar. Nice. <laughs> I was made like awesome. those blueberries, right? I was going to say, yeah, might as well. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, Wednesday what do you have we going have on? a horse show, draft, pony, and the cart class. There's different classes, but those are a few of them. Okay, awesome. And then, um, of course, the pig scramble. Perfect. That, that's the first pig scramble on Wednesday. Second. That's the second, second pig second scramble. One. Oh, man. First one's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> and Wednesday, the big show is Charlie Daniels Band. Oh, cool. They're going to be in? Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Um, every day there's wreath making d demos. Okay, cool. Yep. Nice. Um, Thursday, there's harness racing. Most days of the week, there's har harness racing. Um, is harness racing like a, is that a horse mm -hmm. thing? Okay. Cool. Horse thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> horse happening thing. on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything. They have a big track. Um, oh, and they oh have, gotcha. They do like the little carts. Oh, cool. Okay, yep. now like I know single, what you're talking single about. Single person carts. Yeah, single person cart yep. thing. Yeah, it's, I'm sure those are fun to watch. And that's almost every day? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. And then on Friday, what do you have going on? Friday's fireworks night. Okay. So that's awesome. a big night. Awesome. That's a big night. Um, and then after fireworks is, uh, or I mean, the fireworks is right after vocal trash, which is the, the, the big music venue. The big night. music venue, cool. Yep. And it's also the day of all the 4-H four four auctions, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, so the auctions are happening then too? Okay. Yep, for 4-H, cool. yeah. Nice. That's awesome. So that's a whole jam-packed week of stuff. And then it's an eight-day fair? Eight-day yep. fair. Eight-day so fair. That is awesome. That is so cool. So There's so much to see. It's hard to do it in one day, but you can if you're Right, if you're Go super with efficient <laughs> with your time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It sounds like something yeah, that... Yeah, I'm going to have a milk parlor where you can watch the cows get milked. And oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. That's sweet. That's awesome. And then you can also, you were saying, there's tons of property, too, where people are like camping out and 
So there's a lot of people that use this as their vacation just to stay there at the fair. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So they get awesome. to see the fair the whole week and take their time and <laughs> right, the really move through yeah. it and see it. Right. I get to see all three pig scrambles. Yeah. So, <laughs> and there's a huge section of just rides. Right. Rides, games, Smokies does a good job of that. Right, that's important too because you were saying that this is a unique fair because not just you have the 4 H and the animals, but you also have all the rides and everything together. Yep. So it's pretty cool. You There's actually a, a little like section at McDonald's yep. farm for just the kids. Like they have little, the little, little rides for kids, little like petting zoos and that kind of stuff. Right. In that section. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. so there's a ton of stuff going on. And the Freiburg Fair is so close to here too. It's only like what? 20 minutes from here, yeah, maybe yeah, about, 20 about minutes if you get stuck minutes. at the two stoplights between <laughs> North Conway and Freiburg. A little Freiburg. bit longer with traffic during the fair, but right. Oh that. yeah, I'm sure. Right. There's only a couple roads that go to that fair, so I'm sure you want to make sure you get there early. Yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Freiburg Fair. If you don't know anything about the Freiburg Fair, is it twelve dollars to get in if you're yeah. not a senior, and if you're twelve and under, it's free to go to the Freiburg Fair. So there's tons of really cool things going on. Yeah. Totally worth the twelve dollars. It sounds like. Yeah. And then where are you going to be if someone says I need to see Karen, the bunny lady? Where <laughs> do they go to see At you? At the Fiber Center. The Fiber Center. You're yep. going to be there pretty much the entire week. Entire week from nine a.m. to nine p.m. Awesome. <laughs> well, Karen, Ashley, and Butterscotch as of today. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. You're watching White Mountains today. We'll be right back right after this.